guys have you ever felt like you are a failure like you are losing it just because maybe uh our young guys or your age mates are making it in life they are driving your dream cars they are living in your dream houses they are going to your dream hotels they are going to your dream countries they are like they are living the life you want to live when you become successful have you ever felt like that you feel like uh what happened to them what made them reach there and you're still at the ground where you started you have not changed anything you actually follow them on their social media platforms you try to emulate them you try to do what they do you try to talk to them you try to work hard you work extra hard to do what they do if they are recording videos you record videos if they are dancing you dance if they are working at bigger places you try to employ to email to dm those places but to no avail it never happened i know the society is giving us pressure is making us to try and achieve the things that might take us a long time to achieve the things that might look unachievable or achieve the things these young guys or your enemies have achieved at their young ages actually uh these things lead us to having jealous feeling like we are failures feeling like you are a loser feeling like you don't deserve to be in this world all these happenings bring us brings us to one uh one word uh unfair advantage what is unfair advantage unfair advantage is having something that somebody else cannot use it to become successful uh, for example uh, before we get to the main points i'll show you two examples uh, for example uh, a pretty girl that's a that's an unfair advantage because she is pretty and there's a pro- probability that she is going to get man because she is pretty or she is going to get more advantages because she is pretty and she might even get successful because she is pretty another guy is a tall guy a tall guy is privileged because he might get the privilege of even getting to play basketball that's unfair advantage so guys uh, today I have these amazing points to show you how you can actually do emulate look on your unfair advantage and even become successful like these young guys who may have followed them on social media you have done like what they do but you never even come near to what they have achieved and the first unfair advantage is money 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 just imagine a child is born from a rich family and at the age of uh, 15 years he or she is given a company to own so by the age, by the age of 20 maybe she have more than five companies she has already become successful she is going to drive your dream car live in your dream house and she, she will go anywhere they want to because of money and that's a uh, unfair advantage the second unfair advantage is intelligence what is intelligence some people are so smart in their minds just imagine at your canvas life you have the mind to build something that has never been built like the guy for example the guy who built the mpesa that goes in canvas that guy was intelligent he was smart so he made that application and it got into safaricom and they are using it so he got money at early 20s using our intelligence he got he got it and successful and that was an unfair advantage the other one is luck what is luck you are just lucky in life let's say you started a youtube channel today and you started a youtube channel today but because you are lucky within a one or two months your youtube blows up and you are getting 100k views 200k views 
because of luck, you start to be successful. Or you're just like after school, you get a well-paying job immediately and start living your dream life. That's an unfair advantage. The other one is location. The place you are situated. Uh, maybe you are situated in a place where there are opportunities. For example, I use the child of, uh, let's say, use the kid of uh, Diana Bahati. That kid is from a rich family. And those rich guys, his father and her mother, they meet big people. So as they meet these big people, this kid is going to meet all the big people. And these people are going to mentor him. They are going to give him ideas. They are going to show him big places. And through this, this guy is going to get mentored. He's going to get encouraged. Even they give him business ideas. And through the place he's located, this is going to make him successful at a young age and he's going to blow up. The second one is expertise and education. You are privileged to go to, to university. If you go study medicine or other engineering, you are privileged. So after school, there's a probability that you'll get a better job. You'll get a good job of medicine. And this is going to make you, it's going to pay you, it's going to make you better. It's going to change your life. So this is an unfair advantage. The next one is connections. Do you have connections? After school, as someone connected to a job, let's say your family is from a uh, from a poor background. Your mother is working in the bank. Your father is working in the government of Kenya. Through them, you're going to get a better job in the government of Kenya or in the bank. That's through connection, and it's an unfair advantage. That's how we become successful in this world. We have other unfair advantages, for example, a, a dance. Let's say you know how to dance. You might put your videos on, on TikTok and you explode because of dance. That's unfair advantage. You are an actor, you know how to act, you are chosen to act. That's an unfair advantage. You are a writer, you are going to write scripts to sell to the big bodies like Netflix. That's an unfair advantage. As we continue, guys, uh, just a small start to show you that uh, there are also things like fair advantages, like hard work, education, working smart, determination. Uh, so I'm trying to say that to be successful, you either have an unfair advantage or a fair one. So in short, I'm trying to say that everyone in this world, they have their own advantage in a given way. They have their way of becoming successful in their, in their own way. So it's up to you to sit down and find your unfair advantage or your fair advantage. But mostly of all that, the unfair, unfair advantages, they really, they really try to get people in front of everyone very fast. So if it's possible, just sit down and try and track you are unfair advantage. And like 80% of everyone in this world has an unfair advantage. So it's up to you to think or know you are going to become successful. Because a success, uh, success is good. Just imagine you are living your, uh, your dream life, going to countries you never thought you will do, driving, driving your dream cars, living your dream houses, doing everything you always wanted to do. So, uh, becoming successful depends on you. You have to find your unfair advantage, or rather your unfair advantage, and work on it to achieve your dream and become successful. So thank you guys for this time. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you like the video, please like the video, subscribe, and even leave a comment. See you on the next video. Thank you so much.